They say that when we say I do, we become one. We become one in the spirit. But they also say that as this life progresses and as this life goes on, we work towards becoming that one in every other aspect of life. Now, there are a couple of challenges that you will face as human beings. And these are things that I have learned over the last 20 years. The first challenge that you will face is a gender difference. Gender difference. Somebody say gender difference. Lionel, you identify as a male, right? Good. Correct answer. You identify as a female, right? As such, each characteristic of each gender is very different from the other one. And in your relationship, they will be complementary to each other, but at the same time, they will be in conflict of each other. There are certain ways men do things and are nurtured to do those things. There are certain ways that women do things and are nurtured to do so. And there are often times within the context of this relationship, especially when we are close to each other, those things will come in conflict with each other. Sometimes when it comes to men, you're logical and analytical in your thinking. The female may have some emotion and see things a little bit wider than you will. And these are things that we will all face in our marriage. The second thing that you will face is a personality difference. Somebody say personality difference. Your personality was ingrained and built in you within the first six years of your life. Let us take this kind of person, the temperaments, for example. And you have learned about this. That there are some people who are choleric, some people who are melancholic, some people who are phlegmatic, and some people who are sanguines. Our personalities, in as much as they draw us to each other, will create the conflicts that we face in this life. The third thing is a background difference. All right? You have grown up in a different home from each other. As such, you have been raised with different values. You've been raised with different rules. You've been raised to see different roles. You have seen different rituals performed in your home. And when you come into your relationship, your way of doing things is the accepted norm of doing things. Yet for your partner, it's the same story. Our way of doing things is the accepted norm of doing things, right? In fact, the way you're doing it is very, very weird. Background differences will come into play within your marriage. King Solomon said in Proverbs 24, 3 to 4, he said, by wisdom a house is built. He said, through understanding it is established. And through knowledge its rooms are filled with rare and beautiful treasures. What King Solomon was saying here is that this is the secret and this is the key for you to have a successful home. And what he's saying in this scripture is three things. That it is important for you to have these three things. The first one is knowledge, the second one is understanding, and the last one is wisdom. Knowledge. What knowledge are we having? Knowledge is to understand that this that you have done today, this institution that you have entered today was created by the manufacturer and he has a manual for how to do it. So it's important for you to gain your knowledge from that manual that the manufacturer created. It's important for you to have understanding because without understanding, the knowledge is useless. He says it's important for you to also have wisdom Wisdom is the application of knowledge. Kenyans, we are very good at amassing knowledge, acquiring knowledge. We are very good at ingesting that knowledge. But when it comes to applying that knowledge, there's a disconnect. And this is why our situations and our circumstances are not changing. 